Good evening, everyone. Tonight, I'm going to show you how to use the, the BitLox Bitcoin hardware wallet to make a transaction with your computer. This is the desktop system that we're going to be using, connected by USB to your computer. Now, first thing we do is you need to, today we're going to be using the, the Google Chrome version. So first thing you do is go to bitlocks.io to the BitLox system. Get the system now. And I'm running Chrome, as you see. Okay, this will work on Mac, Linux, and uh, Windows machines. You want to get the Chrome app, or you can just go to the Chrome web store and search for BitLocks. Now, I've already installed the app, so I could just launch it from here. You'd want to click on this space here and download the app. Now, right now, we're just going to close this and I already have it installed so I'll go to the Chrome app launcher and click BitLocks. Now I've already initialized my my device and it's got five wallets on there so we're gonna go to the first wallet you can choose one to any wallet you want click on it and you'll see it comes up and asks for the wallet pin on your device one two three four so, now I'm authorized, and it loads up the wallet. You can see in the background that it's waiting for data. It's now calculating all the addresses in the XPUB. It shows the first address by default because the device does not know if any transaction has been done. It's finding the unspent outputs. This device has... 0 0.0001 bitcoins so that means that I'm gonna have to put more in it and we're gonna have to stop so we're back I sent some coins to this address on the uh, on the uh, bitlocks and they should have confirmed by now so we hit the update button find some new unspent outputs there now we have 0 0.0009 BTC let's make this a little bigger there so now you can see here are all our transactions. This is the most recent one that I just sent up. Hold on. We'll refresh. You see, now that um, we just sent some coins into it, it just rolled over to the next address in the HD wallet. So, here's our point triple eight. Just came in. So, now let's spend this. Let's send it on. We're going to send to an address. Paste this in here, and we'll send 0 .0002. Send this on where? With a fee of 0 .0001. Now, we hit send, refresh the outputs, and you'll see it will come up on our BitLocks device. Preparing the transaction. Send this much to this address. Yes. Now you'll notice there's probably some change from this uh, from this transaction. The change address, because it's internal to the device, is masked. So you don't have to accept the change addresses. They're automatically accepted because they're coming back to you. So we accept the transaction fee. Transaction fee is also internally calculated, so you never get a surprise on the fee. Okay. It takes the original transactions and calculates the fee from them. So we accept the fee. It assembles the hashes, signing one of two hashes. Now it goes through and iteratively walks through the transaction and signs it for each of the inputs that are there. This is the first input is signing. Now the second input is signing. It has to go through there and check the inputs that they are of what's known as a high S, not a high S uh, transaction. It goes back through and rechecks them once again. So now it's sending the data, submitting, and it's sent. Our transaction is done. Go over here, refresh, and here's our transaction. 0 0.002 with a fee of 0 0.001. No confirmations yet because I just sent it. That's a pretty much how it's done. Thank you very much.